Welcome to Talking to Tier One. I'm Tony Scott. This is Peter Oddney. Peter Oddney joins our new pilot program show. Peter did an unbelievable job this weekend covering the Pee Wees out in Buffalo, New York. Thanks, Tony. How was it out there in Buffalo? Cold. I heard the rinks were chilly. <laughs> they were, but that means fast ice and fast players. And hot hockey, right? Hot hockey. There's some really good peewee hockey on board. So, All right, well, let's get right to it. Let's talk a little hockey. Talk about what you saw last weekend uh, out in Buffalo. Saw some serious talent out in Buffalo, Tony. Detroit Honey Baked, probably the deepest and fastest team that I saw out there this weekend. And mid-Fairfield Junior Rangers also killed it. Yeah, we saw that Honey Baked team in the show a couple years ago. Uh, a lot of those kids, uh, Owen Baker. Um, Cutter Marco Goal, Murray. Yeah. yeah, those are good kids. Cutter's a kid. He moved in from Arizona. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Rutger McGorry moved in from Nebraska. So that's a really, <laughs> I mean, it's a hotbed of kids moving in. Just like, it's kind of like Edina, you know, but Detroit's kind of <laughs> like a big, huge Edina. You know, kids move in there to, for a great opportunity. Yep, and play who for else? a great coach. Yeah, who else is he? Is Jimmy their coach now? I think uh, so. Of, of the... Uh, of uh, Honey Baked? From what I can tell from the picture on the website, yeah. Jimmy runs it. Jimmy was a former coach, coached in the USHL. Lived, they lived in Nebraska, and now he's up here in Detroit, up in Detroit, taking care of business with his son, Rutger. Right. All right, so let's move on to the Bantams. Um, we didn't see any Bantams this weekend. I was watching 16s, and you were watching 12s. We, we have some news to report, though, obviously. The Minnesota Blades won the Fall Classic in the USHL tournament out in Pittsburgh two weeks ago. Dom Dominant style. Dominated, yes, very much so. Uh, congratulations to them. Um, we'll get a chance to see Shattuck St. Mary's this weekend. They take on uh, Team Wisconsin down in Faribault. I'm excited to see a lot of those kids. You've seen a lot of these kids grow. What are the one? Which, who's, who are you looking for to see most? Really on excited team? to see uh, Zach Michaelis mm-hmm. from Elk River and Owen Baumgartner. Yeah, Owen was an outstanding player for Owatonna last year as a Pee Wee. Zach played Bantams for Elk River. Another one you want to check out is a Blake Messenberg from Orono. He's another one, really speedy winger, can play all three positions. Kyron Morioka between the pipes from Minneapolis. And don't forget Carson Stokes, the uh, former YHH goalie of the year two years ago. So many great players for Shattuck are coming from Minnesota, so it should be fun to go check them out. They play Team Wisconsin. has got Cade Lemmer on their team. Mm-hmm. Uh, Latch is on their team, and their goaltender uh, Ethan Mork is on their team. So a lot of familiar faces in in that game should be a fun one. One or two games we'll go down there and check they out. They just grow up so fast. Oh, yes, they do. It's so <laughs> cute. All right, let's move on to the minor midgets. I said I checked that out. I was up in Blaine. I watched a lot of great hockey up there. Uh, lots to report on. The Blades went 5-0 and before losing this week to uh, Shattuck St. Mary's. Golf clap for the Blades. Yes, very good golf clap. They didn't get a lot of good competition up there. Let's just admit it. I mean, they 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 won their games. They took care of business. They went 5-0. and They are a superior team. They, won, they also won the Fall Classic in Omaha. So this is a superior team. This is the top three or four team in the country, the Blades are. Mm -hmm. Um, I think another team that jumped out at me was uh, Honey Baked. They beat Chicago Mission 3-2 yep. to in an in a overtime thriller on Sunday. So they went 4-0. and And the team we kind of talked about a lot is Omaha. You know? Omaha. How many guys, you were doing your research, how many Minnesota kids were rostered for Omaha last weekend? At any given time, Omaha will have 9-10 to 10 Minnesota kids. That's amazing. And then it's not like it's like this cluster. I mean, there's kids from Mankato. Oh, all you got over. River Lakes. You got Moorhead. You got Eden Prairie, St. Michael. I mean, they're from all over Minnesota. Dave Wilkie has, yeah, it's like he's been reading YHH or something. (laughs) He's got them all. It's amazing what job he's done to give these kids a different opportunity. Not a better opportunity, a different opportunity to to make their way in the hockey development path. Absolutely. All right, so we've talked a little hockey. Excited. We've got a lot of hockey to cover this weekend as well. Uh, Let's get right to a, a segment on our show that we've done on 10 Minutes with Tony Scott called Boom Roasted. The legendary Boom Roasted. Legendary Boom Roasted. Um, my take this week, and I'm just going to tell you a little story, is every Tier 1 game I go to, these kids bang their sticks <laughs> on the boards incessantly until the puck drops. And it drives me crazy. And it's I just, love it. We'll get to that. that just, that's your take. My take is it's stupid. And I know it's stupid because another Minnesota kid, Dave Fromm, who's the uh, U14 Bantam coach for Colorado Thunderbirds, they're playing down in Shad. 
attic last year. I'm standing right next to them as they're banging their uh, <laughs> sticks on the boards. I look at Dave like, what is this? What are they doing? He looked at me like, I have no idea. I think it's stupid too, but it's just tradition. See, and, and I love it. I think it gets the kids riled up. It's nice to hear a little bit of noise. It's not like these arenas are packed, Tony. They got to manufacture a little bit of enthusiasm. Okay. All right. If We'll call it manufactured enthusiasm. <laughs> you call it that. I call it silly. Boom roasted to the stick tappers. Fair enough. All right. Let's talk about game pucks. I got a game puck I'm going to hand out for, for a kid I saw this last weekend up in Blaine. He was outstanding. Two goals, seven assists, honey baked, from, but not necessarily again going back to that whole Detroit thing. <laughs> this guy's played all over the world. He's from Arizona, mm -hmm. played uh, in Salzburg last year in Austria for Red Bull. Um, and now he's in Honeybake. Ryan Savage, two goals, seven assists. He's an outstanding player. The Ryan Savage. We love oh, him. Oh, you call him the? He's got a the, the in front of Ryan his name? Savage. All right. He tore up the NTDP tryouts last year. Speed, quickness, hands. He's got it all. He is the total package. He was fun to watch. You just couldn't miss him. I mean, you, just, you miss could him. not miss him out there. He was great. All right. Who's your game puck go out to? My game puck is going to go out to Detroit Honeybake's Rutger McGrory. Same thing, kind of like Ryan Savage, speed, quickness, hands. But the best thing about Rutger is what he does without the puck. He's always moving, and he's always paying attention to what's going on. So Rutger played in the show two years ago here in Bloomington. We got a chance to see him quite a bit. He was a leading scorer in the brick the summer before that. Mm -hmm. Rutger's an outstanding talent. Dad's obviously a coach, so he's definitely you know one of those coaches kids who, who learned a lot <laughs> while just watching a lot of hockey. But he's also a physical specimen. He's yep. definitely stronger, faster, shoots the puck hard. He's a definite athlete asset to Honey Baked, and they'll be a team to beat this year, all year long, and all the stuff that we cover. Well, that's it for our first edition. Did you do okay? No. You didn't? I think you did just fine. Great. For Peter Adney, I'm Tony Scott. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Tier 1.